Hi, welcome to clickmyproject.com. Let's see your project. The title of our project is Towards SWSS Discovery Mapping from WSTL to OWLS based on ontology search and standardization engine in the domain web services. Let's see the brief explanation about our project. We introduce our new deck discovery mechanism this mechanism has the ability to provide optimal result for a service request this mechanism is a distribution advertisement of semantic and non semantic web services in addition its method method of organizing and clarifying the available service advertisement improves the speed and quality of the discovery process this paper introduces a mapping algorithm which represents the first step in the first phase of proposed discovery mechanism the algorithm aims to redefine the conventional web services using semantic markups this does not only mean the process of converting the conventional web services description language to one traditional web service to one semantic one but it also combined using semantic markup this does not only mean of this description to one semantic one but it also mean the standardization this definition by using the concept of ontology describe any data in the services in our existing method in our existing method the web service description or primitive units of interaction wsdl description in our existing phase the problem become enriched in transfer we use daml specification in our existing the list of automatic process cannot be the complete or no exact result was found in our existing model in our proposed model the discovery process is a process of finding the service that only the satisfy the user requirement choosing choosing between several services between compromise service to a comma single services in our proposed method we are going to include our local on ontological responsory that is before going to insert our data into the local ontology responsory we have the data is split into two parts that is a structure extraction and the keyword extraction in a structure extraction we have a concept extraction properties extraction and the relationship extraction and we go with the keyword extraction we have an tokenization limitization removing the stop words removing xml and the http words and so on after the process has been completed our, our data will be get inserted next our process now next we have implemented our mapping algorithm then this proposed algorithm has a two phase the first phase is called an automated phase and the second phase is called an manual phase in the automated phase the w um, the everything will be automated by the service in that this wsdl file and in manual phase is designed in a way of the service provider can interrupt their relative data the automated phase consists of these states see the flowchart of our project this is actually the flowchart diagram the w we are going to this is actually our flowchart diagram we are going to implode our wsdl and the wsdl type of an owl converter that is that the file has been converted as an owl format and they are extracting the service the type of description and we are going to extract the input and output of the particular result when the input and output has been extracted we are getting some particular kind of result this is actually the form of wsdl and this is a local and the, and the input of the result will be retrieved from and local ontology and we are getting a uh, service this result from the automatic automated phase we are getting a service result and this service we are extracted the function um, extracted as the character as a non functional properties and it will be provided by a service provider this is about a flowchart diagram let's see the demo of our project this is our first module that is the ontology repository here we are going to import our file uh, now I am going. We are going to import our XML file. With the imported XML file, we are going to mapping our. Um, we are going to implement our mapping algorithm. That is how our WSDL file works and how it is forming will be shown here. Now I am giving my file name as book. Now I am importing my OWL file. Name now the OWL file will be get chosen now i am just viewing my file now my xml file is get viewed here now i am going to process into the my next step before we are going to insert into the our onto local ontology repository we are going to do the following step first is a read data that is um, i am just reading my data what are the file is being given next is a tokenization in the tokenization we are going to remove all the uh, unwanted tax and uh, um, tax that we get removed here and next reason limitization in a limitization
is a process of reducing is a process of reducing uh, influential form and sometimes derived related form word common based on for example am or is everything will be get removed here this is actually a removing removing so we are removing the extreme comma words like common words like stop words such as i a and am like that and next is an uh, and uh, next is a uh, removing o w cables and everything will be get removed now i am going to insert my data into my uh, local ontology before that i am just classifying the parameter that is a root node name will be get displayed over here i am just choosing my root node names what are the names i needed then um, what how many number of columns i needed i am just choosing here and next is i am going to give my column name here i am entering my table name as book i'm just in creating my ow file here i got an information that is the ow file is still created and uploaded successfully i'm going to the next process so my file has been uploaded into the ow file next i'm going to search my particular type of with the keyword here i'm just giving my keyword as book and when i click on the search button the related with the keyword then uh, number of possibilities will be in an ordered list that is the name of the book categories of the book available of availability of the book list of the book everything will be get displayed when i click on this name of the book here i can um, first the information will be get searched over here so the name of the book will be everything will be get displayed so if i choose any one of the book name and when i click for this later search here i am getting the availability as here i am getting the particular book name uh, particular book name that i author of the book and the price of the book and the, the quantity of the book name will be available as a one and the available on uh, this resources will be available in this particular ws web service dot asmx file and later to this the user can search any kind of file uh, they have required and the next is, is the same as the category section of the book when i go with an category section of the book i am just uh, choosing my category section here the name of the categories what all will be get displayed here and if i choose any one of the any one of the name and i'm just entering any one of the name and i'm when i click on the search button the fantasy in the categorization of the fantasy will be found the number four and this uh, and these things will be available at the link of description in an web service the same kind of information will be get formulated in our uh, search formulator and when i click on this mapping phase now i'm going to uh, now the, this is actually the thing is we have uh, everything will be written in our wsgl file that is in a web service when i click on this view availability everything will be get displayed and when i click go with the book title and here when we, when we see the, the book title here the num the so with a different version that is 1.1 and 1.2 um the versions will be there with the placeholders and that um, how the xml is and everything will be get binded every information will be get and uh, showed over here and the length of the content and uh, how uh, the file will be get loaded with the name that is um, the name http impure.org book title everything will be in the actions everything will be get loaded for both the uh, action 1.1 version and 1.2 action uh, version also the http post will also be displayed here and here when i click on my any of my keyword and i when i click on the same book button here i can choose only the name of the book will be alone be displayed here um, alone will be get displayed this will be in the form of um, wsgl file and, and the same thing like that and the same process when we go for an uh, something like categories also when i click on this book when we when i given any of the keyword and the same process like uh, temp dot org dot category everything will be get displayed and when i click on this invoke button here the category salon will be get displayed this is about uh, the main thing of our w still how it works and when i click on this view resource actually how it will be formulated at the when you click with this uh, http local host web service dot asmx op equal to web book title the book uh, the name of the book title everything will be get binded in this particular resource and the prices of the book will be binded in this particular resource and the categories and the book id everything will be get binded only in the particular services this is about a project thank you